How y'all doing, America? My name's Danny Bradshaw. I'd like to come and uh, bring forth the word today. Uh, this is a special day. Uh, this morning I woke up and I, I uh, sent messages on uh, Facebook to my family. This, this is the day that uh, my dad, Danny Bradshaw, was uh, born. And uh, so today's his birthday, and I'd like to bring forth the word. Uh, it's a special day. We're here in Temecula, California. We're up here on top of a mountain at a home of a friend's. And uh, my daughter's here, and uh, another friend of mine's here. Let's just uh, uh, pray. Father God, we just come and we ask today that uh, thank you for it. Uh, thank you for the day that uh, my dad was born on this day, March 3rd, 1933. We love you, Father. We thank you in everything we do. We do unto you. Father God, his dad was a pastor, Grandpa Bradshaw. And Grandpa Bradshaw's dad was a pastor, Amos Bradshaw. And they have Amos Mountain in Arkansas, not too far away from Green Forest, I hear. We love you, Father, for our dads, our moms. That's the way you get us here. Just guide us in the way we're supposed to go today. Watch over the military. Watch over our leaders. Father God, we need a praying president that gets on his knees and prays every second of the day. Oh, Father God, we love you. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you for everything you've done for us in our lives. Watch over all uniform personnel. That's even children in uniform uh, going to schools. There's so much bad in this world, Father. Let the darkness come to the light. Let our light shine bright. Let us be an example of you. The lost be saved, the burdens lifted off of the ones that have burdens on it, especially mine, Lord. We're all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. Let us be the head and not the tail. Father God, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day again, that, that we're not promised. Thank you for another breath in your precious, loving name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's turn to uh, uh, 1 Peter. First Peter, and we're reading out of this, uh, the word that's uh, the Holy Bible, the New International Version. My, my grandbaby, Brittany, got me for Father's Day. So thank you, Brittany, for that. Thank you, God, for this day. And uh, Mike and Dean is uh, her, her brothers that got adopted out. So... Uh, We love you, man. Mike and Dean. Miss you. We're going to go to 1 Peter 4. And verses are going to be from 12 to 19. Suffering for being a Christian. Starting with verse 12. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you as though something strange were happening to you but rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed if you are insulted because of the name of Christ you are blessed for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you if you suffer it should not be as a murderer or thief or any other kind of criminal or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. For it is time for judgment to begin with God's, God's household. And if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, 
what will become of the ungodly and the sinner. So then, those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. You know, a lot of times people don't even know who you are. And in this world, people could care less about people. They will treat you terrible. And in, in the state of California especially, there's been times where I've gone up and said, sir, or yes, sir, or no, sir. Or, and, oh, don't you say, sir. Well, you know, it's just kind of like respect that we're uh, being raised back in Mississippi. It's pretty much, uh, that's the norm. If you don't say, sir, uh, you can get yourself in some uh, trouble of the adults. They're going to say a little bit to you as a child. So as a, as a child of God, we have to be obedient, read the word, uh, pray, and uh, every second of the day, think of God. When we wake up in the morning, think of God. When we go to bed at night, think of God. And people will make fun of you, and that's just fine because, you know, the thing about Noah, everybody made fun of him all the time. But you know, as soon as that door shut on him, the fun making was over. The fun making was over. But people will try to take God out of things. It doesn't work. And uh, we, we have to uh, just do unto God every second of the day. What we need in this world, we need to get rid of the corruption. And that's from the highest to the lowest. And, uh, you know, uh, if, if uh, there was a, uh, uh, this uh, Vice President Biden that's running for president, uh, he says that, that Pence is wrong, uh, that we're gonna do other than just pray. Well, look, there ain't nothing more you can do. Pence is right, I'm running for president, and, 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 and putting God in everything that's what's going to fix this world, not, uh, uh, not, not praying. Because let me tell you, God is almighty. And we don't want to put God back in everything. We're going to put God back in everything. There ain't no want to about it. If you're the president of the United States, you can stop a lot of madness. You can, you can sign it in the, into where you're going to put God, uh, the Bible studies in our schools and never take it out, period. Because let me tell you something. That's uh, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6, that's what the Word says. That's what I'm going to stand on is what God says. I'm not going to stand on what man says. I'm going to stand on what God says. And, and this nonsense about all of this uh, baloney, about uh, fake news and fake stuff, we need to stop this fake stuff. And we need to change this world. And the way we change this world is we start with the Word of God in our schools, prayers in our schools, God, everything. God is everything. God is everything. You can't take God out of nothing. There's no way possible. And what man says is impossible, God says is possible. There's a story out about the lady that went to Congress and got God out of the schools. She goes back to Texas. She was an atheist. And she has uh, herself and her son and her granddaughter get kidnapped, taken out into a field and killed and cut up into pieces and burned up. She didn't have God's favor. She didn't want to have, God, have anything to do with God because she was an atheist. Well, right there tells you, you can't take God out of nothing. There's no way possible. But if you don't have God's protection, what else you got? The devil ain't going to protect you. The devil's to rob, steal, and destroy kill and that's what exactly happened to her we just gotta do unto God no matter what we do we gotta change this world we gotta stand firmly on what the word says and 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 uh, you know uh, thank God for the grace of God because look we're all sinners am I perfect no I'm not perfect I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what I can do I'll tell you what we've accomplished after we're done because me being able to tell you what I could do before ever anything ever happens, how can that be possible? How can any man? Then you're going to say, well, he's a liar. 
So let's talk about what we've accomplished after we're done, not before we get get done. Because who, what man can say he, he could do something that he can't do until it's happened. And then once it's happened, then we can say, okay, look what we've accomplished. And with God working through us, there ain't no stopping us. All things are possible with God. Whatever needs to be done the right way, we'll have people to, to uh, uh, contact me. My phone number is 951-588-9456. Uh, Whatever needs to be done in this nation, in this world, let's, 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 let's take a stand and let's do what we got to do for God and, and let's, let's do what we got to do for this nation. It's not what we could get done for ourselves. It's what we could do for this nation. Let's take a stand. Let's do what's right. And thank you for listening to me. I hope you go to my YouTube. I hope you tell your friends to go to my YouTube and, and, and listen to what we got to do. And let's, let's, let's do this, people. Two of my grandsons, Mike and Dean, They've gotten adopted out by Riverside County. Let's, don't leave men behind. God don't leave no man behind. You leave yourself behind. They're so young, they can't come get me, but I can go get them. I love you, Father. I thank you in everything that we do. I ask for forgiveness, Lord. Forgive me for my sins. All the ones that don't know you, I ask them to pray the prayer, the sinner's prayer, that they come to you and you live, in, you live inside them, Lord. The Holy Spirit, fill us up inside, Father. Let our cup run the over. Our inheritance is of you. We hand it down to our, our children's children, Lord. Teach our children so they can teach their children. That's the inheritance we have to have. Let us leave a legacy behind of you, Father, just like my grandpa Bradshaw did for me. I love you, Father, just like my uncle's done for me, just like my cousins has done for me. I love you, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father God. Guide us in all of our ways. Be with us today like you always are. You're our creator, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I believe in you, Father. Jesus, you died on the cross. Thank you for that. You, uh, you died on that cross for my sins. All of our sins. We all fall short. We're all sinners. There was only one perfect person, and that was you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray all of this. Watch over this nation. Watch over the people, Lord. Watch over the uniform personnel, even children going to school. We love you, Father. Thank you for your presence that you've been showing the last few days. The building that you got me, Father. I put a cross on top of it, ASAP. I love you, Father. I thank you. And everything we do, we do unto you in your precious, loving name. Amen. Salute you, America. I know for a fact that the backing up of people, of God, I have no problems. Sincerely, Army Strong. Love you, Mike and Dean. Miss you. God bless America.